welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I am here unboxing a wine subscription for you. Now, disclosure, I have not tried these wines yet. I have tried exactly one of these wines and it was very good. And I was supposed to wait until after the unboxing, but hmm. So, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna take a look at it, and then as I try the wines throughout the month, I'm gonna film and record and we'll loop back at the end and talk about was it worth it, was it not worth it. But this is First Leaf, and First Leaf is a wine club. In this box, I have one, two, three, four, five, six bottles that I ordered through their introductory offer, and here's how it works. I hopped online and I took a quiz, a little wine quiz they had, and then it sent me my introductory offer and I accepted it and I ordered it. I'm at the point now where I need to drink and rate. It did come with this nifty little First Leaf newsletter newspaper. This thing's kind of hearty. It has ratings and information and all sorts of good stuff inside. Then it has a letter, the First Leaf members in there. Then we dive into the good stuff. Obviously, there's that one. But I did a mix of reds and whites. So that answers the first question I typically get from you guys is, is it all reds, is it all whites, or can I mix? You can mix, which is exciting. All right. And I'm just gonna slide that guy right there. So here we go. This is the lineup that I received. On the introductory offer, which I'll link up. This could change, but as of today, June 2020, it was six wines for $40 plus $9.95 shipping. So I got these at $8.33 each. Not so bad. Um, this Penrose Chardonnay is a 2018 and it has a retail value of 29. This Fifth Note 2017 Merlot Cab has a retail value of 28. The one I'm drinking here, Burrell 2018 Merlot, is $24. Whip Stitch is a 2017 Petite Syrah. I did not write down the price, go figure. The Serena 2018 Sauvignon Blanc, 21. And Lataria, I'm so bad at saying these, 42 is uh, $19. So, I mean, obviously this intro deal was crazy good. One of the things I will do is as I open the bottle and I drink it, I'm gonna see if this bottle can be found somewhere else, what is the cost of that bottle elsewhere, and what is its rating. Okay, so let's chat a little bit. Um, I already told you to sign up. You go to their website, which I have linked below, and you take the quiz, which is gonna tell them what to send you. Once you place your order, you have to rate it next so they know what to send you in their next box. They do have an easy rate online system. I did fiddle around with that. Um, and you can preview your wines in your next order. So it's not like just surprise you're stuck with it. You can check them out first. Um, and they do, those, those ratings that you do and the feedback you leave helps personalize your next wine shipment. Um, they do have a satisfaction guarantee, which I always like. Um, I, I personally have never ran into problems and had to redeem those on any of my wine clubs, but it is there for those who like to know that. But here's a big deal. Once you get past this six bottle intro offer, here's what your cost goes to. Six bottles become $79.98 plus the $9.95 shipping, which equals about $15 a bottle. Now, if you remember, the cheapest one over here was $19. The average price is $23, according to First Leaf. So that is still a really, really good deal. You also can jump on their club, their online wine club, and shop a la carte. You do have to put a minimum of six bottles in, but you also get those for just $15. So that is really cool. I am gonna try and run through all of these and get back with you. But for now, I want to kind of set these guys aside and talk a little more intimately about this guy right here. Okay, so I have three things I judge wine off of and it's worked for me thus far. First is the label. Pretty, good, cute, catchy. That is a good, okay label, it's a good label. Nothing amazing, but it's not as bad as some of the ones I've seen. Second is price point. How much is it? Can I afford it? Is it a $200 bottle? Like, I need to know that. 
and then third is taste because that is the order in which I encounter a wine. Of course, once I've tasted it, then I know what, what I'm gonna do from there. But when I haven't encountered it, those are the three things I look at first. So I looked at this and cool label. I hopped on and it was $20 price point on first leave. I was like, that's reasonable. Tasted it and was like, it's good, not super amazing, not bad, I'm down. Now when I spend $20 on a wine, I, I wanna like it. Like, even maybe like it a lot. And I couldn't say that I liked this one a lot, but it was okay, so I did some research. It has a 3.5 with 225 reviews on Vivino. And the average price that a person pays for this bottle of wine is $3.63. If you'd have told me this was a $4 wine, I'd have been like, this tastes amazing, off the hook, shocking, love it. When you tell me it's a $20 wine, I'm like, it, it's okay, good. So I have not done the rest of the bottles yet. I have not done price comparisons nor tasted them. But I paid $15 with club price, $8 for introductory price, retail value, which can only be found on First Leaf, over 20. Not saying we're off to a bad start, but I can't say that we're off to a super strong, strong start either. Okay guys, I'm back. And being the dutiful subscription unboxer that I am. I went through and drank all of these bottles of wine for you guys. And trust me, it was a sacrifice. But it was one I was willing to make. Okay, I have good news. When we left off last, I had done the Burrell wine with you guys and it had a 3.5 rating, which in my opinion is a great rating for a subscription box wine. But we found it for $3.63 when they were saying it was a $24 value. And I was like, what the heck? I, these bottles better not do that. I have really good news. The pace changed quickly. I never found a wine as low as 3.5. The next lowest is 3.7 and all of the rest of them have a value of $15 or above. And I can say we loved, not just like light tolerated, loved all of these wines. And I was like, I'm starting to love them all. And I feel like maybe, I don't know, like, can like, am I just being influenced? Like I don't typically, I'm kind of picky. Um, I don't have subscription boxes for wine that I recommend because I'm so picky. We started getting more people in and more people drinking them and these wines were knocking out of the park. So, Penrose Hill Chardonnay, they firstly says it has a value of $29. And when I went around and researched, I found it to be $26 everywhere else. So, very close in price point on the value. It has a 3.7 with 161 people reviewing it. And that is a great review. We loved this wine. Then we had the Fifth Note Blend. It's a 2017. Um, they said it had a $28 value. When I looked around, I found it to truly have a $28 value. It was spot on. It has a rating of a 4.0. I have never had a wine in a subscription box with a 4.0 rating. It's just, it doesn't happen. 3.5 is the highest it gets. Um, and it had 66 people review that. Then we tried the Whipstitch Petite Syrah. First Leaf says it has a value of $20. When I looked around, I couldn't find a lot of supporting evidence. Like everything pointed me back to first leaf. So I can't say if the price is good or not as far as the retail value. Um, but it does have a 3.9 review with 325 ratings. So it's still a great wine. Then Literaria was next. It's a soft Blanc. They said it had a $19 value. I did find it in a few places for $15. Um, but it has a 4.0 review with 246 reviews. So still another fantastic wine. And I have definitely saved what, in my opinion, my husband's opinion and my friend's opinions as the best was Serenia. We loved this wine. It's so, so good. It's a Sauvignon Blanc 2018. They gave it a value of $21. Um, I did find it for $19. It has a 3.7 overall rating with 195 reviews, but we thought this one was so, 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 so good. If you remember with the introductory offer, these are only $8.33 each shipped to your door. That is TTL for the intro offer. After that first box, 
they bump up to $15 each. So still, you're, I mean, you're at retail value, you're saving $4, you're saving $5, you're saving $13, uh, you're saving $14, and in the Burrell one, which had a value of $3, you, you're overpaying a little bit for that one. So, but, uh, I mean, $15 shipped to my door for wines with a 4.0, Sign me up all day long. I am so excited I found First Leaf. I finally have a wine subscription that sends great, real curated wines. And I am so pleased, I am so pleased. You guys go below. I don't know if I have any coupon codes. I'll do some searching around and see if they can hook us up with anything. If I do, it'll be on my blog post. It'll be in the YouTube notes. Um, I try to link it up on a swipe up on um, Instagram if I, if I have it. Um, check the notes below. I'm always updating it with the latest and greatest of things that are happening, but I have to say first leaf wine subscription. I highly recommend it. You guys, if you have questions, y'all usually message me on Instagram. That's great. Comment below. However you want to reach out. I am here to help you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.